Good work. It looks like you ran into a bit of trouble at the mine, though, huh? Huh? How do you know? I get a call from the mine. They said that they were incredibly grateful to the both of you. Now, how about you give me a report of what happened? Okay, then. This is what happened. Received payment per mayor class's request. Payment in Mira 1500. Gained BP 4. Current rank is Junior Bracer 8th class. Very nice. It looks like you did much more than anyone was expecting from you. Dealing with unexpected accidents is also a part of your mission as Bracers. I hope to see more great things from you in the future. You just, you just leave that to us. Well, you don't have to worry about Estelle missing anything, since her nose is always in everything. Come on, dude! Yeah, what he said. Hey! Why are you saying that I'm super nosy like that? <laughs> because you are. Your skill lie. Your skills lie in being direct, nosy, and naive, right? Dude, come on! Isn't that being a bit harsh, Joshua? Are you sure about that? All right, that's enough, you two. Okay, this is the last job. This is the last of the jobs you'll be doing for Cassius. You've heard of the liberal news, right? You'd be, you'll be cooperating with them to get some coverage for a news story. Isn't that the name of the news magazine we bought the other day? What are the chances of that happening? Would you say cooperating with them to get some coverage? Just exactly what does that entail? It seems that they're looking for a skilled guide because they want to get some shots of a dangerous place. You'll need to ask the reporters directly for the details. The reporter and camera woman from the news services are staying at the Hotel Roland. Here's a referral from the guild. Received guild referral. Alright, how about we get over to the hotel and talk to those, these people? Good idea, let's go! Before that, let's turn in the other quests. Reported results for Mushroom Hunt. Payment in Mira 700, 700. Gained BP 3. Reported results for Orbment Replacement. Payment in Mira 600. Gained BP 3 plus 1. Awesome. Reported results for Medical Necessities. Payment in Mira 250. Gained BP 3. Reported results for tr soldier training. Payment in Mira 300 gained BP 3 plus 2. Oh, plus 200 from Mira. Current rank is still 8th class. Good work. It seems like you completed your objectives without any trouble. If you finish any other jobs, please come back and report again. Sure. Let's check the board. Lost Kitten. Client Ida. Pay 500 to Mira. Difficulty low. I'm looking for my lost kitten. Please meet me on the cafe terrace. Ida. Elias Highway Monster. Client, Bracer Guild. Pay 1000 Mira. Difficulty medium. A ferocious monster known as a rhino setter has been spotted roving the Elias Highway. Bracers from this branch are requested to deal with this threat immediately. Okay, sounds good. Let's do the Lies Highway first, and then the cat, and then we'll do the, the main mission, the main story mission. No, luckily nothing is attacking me right now, which is amazing. A large monster is prowling around. Exterminate. Okay, so you are weak to fire. No, you're not. Never mind. Get a spear. I don't know why I thought you would be weak to fire. Ow. You're not that bad, actually. Shadow spear. Just spam shadow spear. You think does the KO effect? Or just kill it. One whole experience point for that? You've got to be kidding me. 
exterminated monster and lies on Elias Highway. Cool. Back to Roland, and then we do the kitty cat mission. <laughs> do do do. Okay, let's do the kitty cat mission. What am, what am I ever to do? I hope those verses will so show up soon, sometime soon. Did I hear you say that you're, did I hear you say you're looking for a couple of racers? Yes, that's right. Does that, does this mean that you are there? It sure does. Even that handsome young man too? That's right, myself included. Well, well, what a pleasant surprise this is. <laughs> there certainly seem to be a lot of people with the name Bracer these days. What? <laughs> Does this mean that you are brother and sister or something like that? You know, that's got to be it. When people have the same name, it usually means they're family. Well, I guess that's kind of how it is for us. <laughs> Still, I think this lady has no idea what bracers are. She seems to have mistaken the word bracer for somebody's name. Y you can't be serious. <laughs> May I ask what the two of you are whispering to each other about? It'd be a pain to explain all of this to her. So let's just go along with what she says. I'll try. You seem to be trouble. You seem to be troubled over something, ma'am. My goodness, for such a cute little dumpling, you catch on quick. Young boys are so considerate. Hey, are you really distressed, or are you just trying to flirt with someone who's way too young for you? Oh, that's right. I am, I am, I am so distressed. <laughs> My little arrow hasn't come home. I carelessly dozed off here at the cafe and she vanished. And who is Errol exactly? My little kitten. She's so, she's so snuggly wuggly. <laughs> oh, and if I might add, it's not just her face that's so cute. It's her personality. It's her personality too, as well. What's the color of your kitten's fur? Um, let me think for a moment. Maybe it's the color of the evening sun and autumn shining down upon a field of wheat? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Are you like a poet or something? <laughs> so it's tannish. I think she's just out running around somewhere. So if you find her, please bring her back. Understood. We'll start by looking for her outdoors. If we find her, we'll come back and report to you. I'll be waiting right here for you. Good luck, Mr. and Miss Bracer. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, where do we need to go for this? Over here, maybe? Nope. Back here. Hmm. Not over there. Maybe back in the alleyway back here? Over here? No. Huh. Oh, hey. Kitty! Look! Calm down, Estelle. Joshua, is that cat? It looks like the one that lady was looking for. I'm certain that's the one. We'd better hurry and catch it. Alright. Seemed like it was coming this way. You back by the sewer? No. Back here. Look! It's that cat again! Well, Get back here! Come on, Estelle! <laughs> That's not how you catch a cat! This is just like back at the Purzel farm. It seems like we're doing a lot of chasing these days. Okay, is it back here now? Are you back 
and the sewer. Did you go into the sewers? Hopefully not. Meow. There's that cat again! Estelle, wait a minute! Maybe that kitten is trying to... Oh no, it's, it's getting away! <laughs> <laughs> it went toward the chapel. Let's hurry and catch it. Here we go again. <laughs> so I think you're making everything worse. <laughs> There's nowhere left to run, little kitty. It's time to be caught. <laughs> okay. Okay. Estelle, you are terrible at this. You really are. Be a good kitty and surrender. Stay right there. Like that and... <laughs> Estelle, you're terrifying it. Estelle, don't corner her like that. What do you intend to tell her owner if she takes a dive off the terrace? I know that, but it's not like there's any other way to catch her. Yeah, there is! Don't terrify it! Come here, Arrow. That's right, this way. I'm sorry the big bad Estelle scared you like that. Jerk. Come on, let's go back and see your owner. Meow. <laughs> That's a good girl, Arrow. All right, let's go. Your owner's waiting for you. And that's pretty much everything that happened. I'm pretty sure that Errol was on her way back to see you from the beginning. Each time we saw her, she had been walking toward the cafe. Now that you mention it, that does seem like what happened. There's a chance that because of us, she ended up coming back this late. Oh, don't be silly. You two brought her back safe and sound. I'm really grateful to the both of you. But especially you, Mr. Bracer. You're just the cat meow. <laughs> uh, I'll take that as a compliment. You're blushing, Joshua. I'd sure like to put a collar on you. They need to be perfect. <laughs> That's all right, lady. Down, down, girl. I, I, I apologize, but we're going to need to get back and report to the guild. <laughs> Have a nice day. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> oh yes, I hope to be seeing a lot more of Mister Bracer. <laughs> Quest Lost Kitten Completed. Whew. Glad that's over with. She came off a little strong. <laughs> Let's report these. Report. Reported results for Lost Kitten. Payment in Mirror 500. Gained BP 2. Reported results for Lies Highway Monster. Payment in Mirror 1000. Gained BP 4. Current rank is Junior Bracer, 8th class. Alright, I was kind of hoping that would actually put me up to 7th class, but whatever. Now we have to go to the inn. Vern, I was wondering if I could ask you something. Is it true that the people from the magazine company are staying here? Well, you're certainly right about that. Did you have some business with them? Actually, we're here representing the guild to cooperate with them on getting a story. Really? Is that so? Then I regret to inform you that the both, both of them are out at the moment. Oh, well. Oh, well, do you know where they went? The, that reporter fellow said something about heading over to the bar. How about you try asking there? The bar? Got it. Thanks. We appreciate the help. Now I had to go to the bar. Did I ever get the recipes from here? Huh? Who are you kids supposed to be? 
Are you perhaps the reporter from the Liberal News? That's right, but how do you know that? I like getting the scoop on things, but I hate it when people try and pry into my life. What business do you have with me? We're here representing the Bracer Guild. We were told that you had a request that you had requested an escort. Oh, so you finally come here, have you? I've been waiting forever for you guys to show up. So, uh... Where's Cassius Sprite? Um, well, the thing is, he had another job come up. So he's not even in, even in Roland. Wh what? I came all the way here so I, could, so I could get a story on this famous bracer. Crap, what a waste... What a waste this trip turned out to be. I don't get what you're so disappointed about, but there's no need to get your boxers in a bunch. We've got you covered. I guess I don't have much of a choice. You'll have to do. Wait, what did you just say? <laughs> don't get, get your boxers in a bunch? <laughs> no, the we've got you covered part. What do you mean by that? It's just like Joshua said, we're here where your representatives were your representative racers. Oh, and here's our referral. And another guild referral. Hey, this has got to be some kind of bad joke. Are you trying to tell me that you little brats are bracers? Brats? Is that how you're supposed to be is that how you're supposed to address a lady? <laughs> what do you mean, lady? There's nothing sexy about you in that outfit. Well, I would kind of hope you didn't find someone who's like 16 sexy. You look like you're about 40 or 50. If you don't like my assessment, then how about slipping it into a skirt and acting like all the other girls your age? Okay, now you're just coming off as a complete creep. This clothing is specifically designed for those who wield the staff, and this looks looks like a skirt too. Are you blind? You're such a you're such a rude old man. <laughs> who, who are you calling an old man? I'm still in my twenties, damn it! You definitely look like you're much older than twenty. <laughs> Getting back to business, sir. The fact is that we're, we were dispatched by the guild. I'd be more than happy to introduce you to someone else, but I don't know when they'll be free. Ugh! I can't extend, extend the deadline any longer. I guess I've got no other alternative. Alright, rejoice you kids. I'm going to leave this up to you. What a generous old man you are. <laughs> Easy, Estelle. I'm Joshua, and this here is Estelle. And you are... I'm Niall Burns, a reporter for the Liberal News. Though we won't be working long together, I hope you'll do a good job. <laughs> I'll be grateful when this is all over, too. By the way, where is it exactly that you want us to guide you to? The way I see it, you need a trusty guide because you're headed somewhere dangerous, right? Right, my destination is the Asmolus Tower. I'm sure you've heard of it before. Ha! That's it? Not only have we heard of it, but we were there on a job not that long ago. Well, this may just work out after, after all. So, what I really want you to do is guide us to the tower roof. I want to get a picture for the magazine. Well, aren't you the thrill seeker? By us, do you mean that someone else is coming along too? Yeah, I've got a camera woman with me. She said something about her oval camera not working right, so she took off to the oval factory. But she should have been back by now. If you're in a hurry, then wouldn't it be a good idea to hit it? To head over there now? No doubt you're going to take off to, no doubt you're going to take off to get your story once you meet up with your partner, right? Yeah, that's true. Alright then, 
Let's head straight to the tower once we pick up my partner from the Oval Factory. Sure. Oh wait, recipes. Wholesome pasta. Eat wholesome pasta. I already have that recipe. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Have that. Let's go ahead and purchase one of these. And one of these. Not that I'll probably ever use those. <laughs> I have a habit of stocking up on items, but never really using them. Wait, anything but that. I'll do anything you ask. Just please give me back my camera. It's worth more than my... It's worth more to me than my life. This is a problem. What should I do about this, Dad? You're the one who took the job, so you're the one who has to deal with it. Okay, hmm, what's all the fuss about? Could this person be? That's her, all right. Hey, Dorothy, how long are you going to keep me waiting? Niall, you came just at the right time. Please help me out here. What did you do this time? You didn't waste all your money, so now you don't have enough for repairs, did you? <laughs> That's amazing! How did you guess? <laughs> Are you like a clairvoyant or something? When you do the same thing that many times, even an idiot would know what's going on. <laughs> do you know this person? I'm sorry to ask this, but can I get you to pay the repair costs? Fine, but I'll need you to write it off as a business expense. How much? Let's see. The decorative clock and the repairs together are 2,000 Amira. <laughs> Hold on! I can understand the repairs, but what's the deal with the decorative clock? Well, I was looking around the store while I while he was doing the repairs, and I saw I saw a pretty clock, and when I picked it up, it broke. <laughs> But I'm glad it, we can write it off as a business expense. How wonderful is that? That kind of amount is not going to be covered. Crap. It looks like I'm going to have to pay out of my own pocket and get my money back later. Here's your 2,000 Mira. And this is your receipt. This is an unbelievably awkward combination if I've ever seen one. No doubt about that. But the fact that he'll pay out of his pocket for someone it means he's probably pretty nice to work under. Sorry to keep you waiting, kids. Had to take care of a little trouble. Who are these kids, Niall? They're the bracers who will be acting as our escorts and guides. They'll be taking the place of Cassius Sprite, with whom we we'd originally made arrangements. These young kids are... I'm Estelle. It's nice to meet you. And I'm Joshua. So, it's Estelle and Joshua, is it? You may be young, but you seem reliable. I'm Dorothy Hyatt. I'm the new camera woman for the liberal news. At the moment, I'm training under Nile. Why do I get stuck babysitting this blockhead of a girl? That damn editor-in-chief. Relax, relax. Something good will come out of this, out of all of this soon enough. You're one to talk. Never mind, just forget it. <sighs> now, now that we've got everyone together, how about we go and get our story? Our destination is the Asmellus Tower, right? All right, let's go! Right on! All right, let's do this. Need to be really careful because now I've got two extra NPCs. Get to the tower. Yes, sir. We actually need to get into a fight. Blur. So blur. Thank you. <laughs> Oops. 
do to be careful because I have a long line of characters. Okay, now we go this way. Did I get the loot those over here? No, I did not. Okay, I got a tear bomb. Not really that good of an item. <laughs> I guess free loot is free loot. Oh god. Damn it! <laughs> Ow! Thank you for not attacking the NPCs. That makes my life much easier. Thank you for running away, NPCs. It also makes my life easier. Can we not miss? Thank you. Ow! That hurt a lot. <laughs> All right, we're good to go. All right, we're at the tower. Sweet. Wow, this tower is really tall. I wonder how many floors it has. The last time we were here, we only made it as far as the second floor. But judging from the scale, I'd say it probably has about five or six. There should be five. At least that's what it said in the book at home. It was investigated some time ago, but it looks like it was abandoned after that. That reminds me, it seems like there are a number of other towers like this in Liberal. That's correct. There are towers similar to this one in the Bose, Ruan, and Zeiss regions. They all seem to have been built around the time that the Liberal Kingdom was founded. Is that so? I think I'm starting to feel the history already. My job this time is to uncover the truth about them. Dorothy, get me a few long angle shots of this place. Sure. Here we go. Uh, uh, amazing! Is a, is a photographer's personality supposed to change by taking a camera in their hands like that? She certainly looks like a pro. <laughs> Snork. <laughs> That really hurts, Niall! This happens every time you try to take a picture like that. Who I try to act professional and just get some get me a shot using your usual style. I guess I shouldn't try to tone down my style just to look good. Well, I guess I'll have to do it my own way. Oh, looking good, looking good. Now that's what I call sexy and cute. <laughs> Here we go. Say cheese. <laughs> I don't get it. Why is she doing that when she's not taking photos of a person? Somehow it seems natural for her. She says that she can see the expression of the scenery, whatever that is that's supposed to mean. And believe it or not, she takes some pretty breathtaking pictures acting all ridiculous like that. I guess it could be considered a type of genius, the thing, the kind that's borderline insane though. Wow, people are sure never what they seem to be. Okay, I'm all done here. All right then, let's get inside. We're headed for the roof. I'm counting on you two greenhorns. You just leave it to us. We won't let any monsters lay a single paw on you. Please make sure to keep close behind us. Mm, I have a feeling they'll hit them a couple times at least. <laughs> Unless I get incredibly lucky. Okay. We didn't see any monsters here last time. Is there anything over here? Oh. Let's go and explore. Oh god. 
Oh no. Uh oh. Sweet. <laughs> Ow. Okay, fire works well on them. Please, oh please, do not die in PCs. Thank you. <laughs> Whew. That's that. Let's move out. This is why I have to be incredibly careful. Because holy crap. Okay, let's check over here. I'm trying to find any loot. I should not be trying to do this with the NPCs in my party. <laughs> I should have tried to come through here and explored everything before the story required me to come here. This holy crap it makes it so much harder when you have NPCs. Guess that works. So fire bolts. Fire is not that much better than just soul blur, so. Thanks, Dorothy. Could you not walk towards the monsters, please? I know you really want to get pictures of them, but it would... It, uh, I don't even know how to put it. I feel like I'm losing... I'm shaving years off my life when she gets closer to the anime. <laughs> okay, nothing here. Nothing there. Really wish I could actually see the enemy. I have to basically be on their butt. Alright. Cool item. Tear bomb. Okay, if you're there, that's fine. Are there any other items to acquire? I don't think so. I hope not. I don't know if it was facing towards me or away, so I didn't want to fight that. Found knitted shoes. Awesome. Gonna equip those. 52, 52. So let's put it on Estelle. Nice. Crap. <laughs> oh no. Um, okay, firebolt on you. Let's see here. Soul Blur on that. At least kill, them, kill it in one hit. <laughs> Kyle, why are you running towards the enemy? I don't understand you. Please, for the love of God. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Nio, I really, 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 really need you to go away from the enemies. Do not run towards the enemy, please. For the love of God. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Shadow Spear on that. Still, you're going to use Firebolt. Please one-shot it. Darn it. Thank you. Crap. Dorothy, please move away from the enemy. Not towards it. Crap. Okay, Soul Blur. Please kill it. Oh, he knocked out on Conchin. Unconscious. <laughs> awesome. Right. I don't know why that time you did more damage. <laughs> Alright, that's not what I was hoping for. Is there anything else over here? There might be, actually. Okay. Don't want to go that way. Don't. Okay! That was not a good thing. Ow. Soul Blur. Soul Blur. I think I can one-shot them. I cannot one-shot them. Damn it. <laughs> Ow. And they do leech life. Great. That's fantastic for me. Liquor. Can I hit two at once? No. Okay. Um... Thank you. Thank you. Ouchies. Pack that one. Please kill it. I hate my life. <laughs> Alright. Got a spear. 
Focus fire. Please one shot it. Thank you. Thank you. Please don't die. <laughs> Please don't die. Ow. Awesome. <sighs> okay. Really don't want to get into another fight, please. Oh God! <laughs> Go me. I'm amazing. I am the best at this game. I am the greatest there ever was, or ever will be. Okay. If only the NPCs had their own levels. Uh oh. Monsters appeared. That's not good for me. Okay, Shadow Spear, please one-shot it. Shadow Spear, please one-shot it. Okay, let's ult this one. Oh, come on! Please! We're supposed to kill it with one attack, please! <laughs> okay, it's dead now. Please don't die, Dorothy. Thank you. Please get away! No, stop going towards the enemies, please! <laughs> oh my god. Awesome, it's dead. Cool. Ten staff. Cool. I want that. Even though I don't really do physical damage very much, it's still better than nothing. I really wish. Okay. Thank you. I was gonna say I really wish it wished it would turn away from me, and it did. I'm very grateful for that game. Uh oh. Oh god, not again. Oh no! <laughs> Thank you. Can I hit two at once with any of these? No, I cannot. Okay, Soul Blur. So wait, let's do Shadow Spear on that. Stell, you are going to do Fire Bolts on that. Please stop. Please die and so Damn it! Come on. <laughs> okay, Joshua, you're going to attack this one. Ow. Okay, Stell, you are going to do Firebolt on that. Please don't die. Please don't die. I hate my life. <laughs> Ow. I hate you, Nile. I hate you so much. Shadow Spear on that. Stell, you're going to fire bolts. That. Okay, I need to steal this critical attack. And kill this thing. These actually hit the hardest of everything right now, it seems. Fire bolts on you. Thank you. <laughs> and also thank you for running away, Nile. You're making my life a little easier with that. Thank you for dying. Awesome. We should be fine now. Ow. I'm having the worst luck avoiding fights. <laughs> Please don't attack me. We can be friends, right? Let, let's just be friends from now on. No more attacking people, okay? Sounds good to me. Good. I'm glad we came to this agreement. I also need to be careful because I would like not to die. Hot luck in a shell, whatever that is. That's going to be a meal, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to have to fight this. Might turn around at the worst possible moment. 
Well, let's go ahead and kill it. Wow. This is the worst fight I could have gotten into. Oh my god. Should have tried to avoid this fight. Or we should have. Really? Run away from the enemy, please! For the love of god! Um, let's use Shadow Spear. Both of my characters. Please one shot it. Oh, come on, game! Please! Okay. Really? Niall, go away from the enemy, not towards the enemy, please! My god! Thank you for one shotting that. Please don't die. Okay, Shadow Spear on you. Dying. Craft flicker. Please die. Thank you. Whew. I I should be fine. I should be fine. Okay, soul blur. Oh come on! <laughs> okay. I really need to focus on these here, I think. Shadow Spear. Shadow Spear. Please one shot it. Thank you. Please one shot it. Estelle. Almost. I was almost very happy with you, Estelle. So close, but no cigar. Okay. Let's do fire bolts on this. Please one. Thank you, Joshua. I like how Niall had the critical attack there. What? <laughs> what kind of critical attack was he going to do? Come on, game. Okay, should be fine. Soul Blur. He's actually going to get a crit, so. Come on! It normally does like 73 damage. With a crit, it did 79? You're kidding, right? What? <laughs> awesome. Yep, taking fights with NPCs in your party is awesome. The best. The best. The best. Are there any more enemies? No. Did I already get this item here? I did. Okay, let's go upstairs. Sweet! We've reached our goal. Awesome. Wow, it's bright out here. It looks like we finally made it to the rooftop. Would you look at that beautiful... Would you look at the beautiful scenery? Now this is something else. It looks like we'll be able to get a better shot than I had originally anticipated. And there, and that's the thing I was telling you about earlier. I wonder what that's supposed to be exactly. It looks like a giant ornament operated cauldron, if you ask me. According to my sources, it's some sort of ancient device. Although nobody seems to know what exactly it's used for. Hmm. Hey, Joshua, did you know something like this was up here? Joshua? It's no use hiding. I think it would be wise to come out where we can see you. Huh? Please don't hurt me. I'll come out already. I'm coming out right now. Who is this guy? So somebody arrived before we did, huh? What a surprise! What a surprise that was! What a surprise that was! Nice find, Joshua. And you are. I apologize. Please forgive me. I'll give you every last mirror I have. Please spare my life. Look here, buddy. Please don't mistake us for robbers or something weird. 
You do recognize this emblem, don't you? Estella showed the man her guild the emblem. Wait, isn't that the Bracer Guilds? So, you're trying to tell me that you're Bracers? In the flesh. I'm Estelle, and this is Joshua. And we're here as reporters from the Liberal News. We're having these two provide our escort so we can get coverage on the tower. I'm relieved to hear that. Please, just don't ever scare me like that again. The fact that you came up here like that made me suspicious of you all. Look who's talking. You seem like quite the suspicious fellow yourself. Do you mind telling us who you are exactly? I apologize for, for my belated introduction. My name is Alba, and I am, and I am an archaeologist. I came to investigate the tower in order to further my research of ancient civilizations. All alone? I'm surprised you made it here in one piece. Ah, uh, <laughs> somewhat, but actually I've grown accustomed to investigating ruins like these. You see, I've got a lot of confidence in my ability to flee from monsters if need be. Although this is the first... Although this time I found myself in a bit of a pickle. You are one crazy scholar if you ask me. However, being an archaeologist would mean that you're familiar with the tower's origins, right? Well, more than the average person anyway. But since I have only just begun my investigation, there are still a lot of things I don't know myself. That's fine, but... Is there anything interesting you can tell us about this place? It'll be used for an article. Let's see. Has, it, has everyone heard of the Septarians before? I think Father Divine maybe said something about that before. You mean the seven treasures endowed with power and bestowed upon the ancients by Idios, right? That's exactly what I'm referring to. It seems these ancients ruled the earth, seas, and skies using the powers of these treasures. It has also been written that they were even able to unlock the secrets of time and life. Approximately 1200 years ago, when this ancient civilization was destroyed by mysterious calamity, these septarians were also lost. That is the legend also recorded in the scriptures of the Septian Church. But what does that have to do with this tower? A part of the legend states that one of these Septarians slumbered somewhere within La Pearl. His name, the Oriol. The Oriol? The word certainly has a strange ring to it. If the legend is really true, I figured I might be able to find some clues here at the tower, since it's one of the oldest ruins in all of La Burrow. So I came out here to investigate. Aww, uh, what an inspiring story! It is, isn't it? You can feel my passion for things of antiquity, right? <laughs> this is splendid. I am overjoyed that there is someone else who understands the way I feel. So, did you find any of those clues you were looking for? I, I am still working on that part. But if I can figure out how this device works, I might be on to something. I think it's an interesting story, but as it stands, it's a, specula it's a speculative one. From what you've told me, I'm sorry to say it wouldn't fly as an article. I see. That's extremely disappointing to hear. I'm surprised myself. Contrary to my expectations, you are serious about the articles you write. That's because I can't write articles based on uncertain news sources. We may run the occasional gossip column, but it's the policy of the liberal news to verify our information. That aside, let's get Let's get what we came here for, shall we? Dorothy, I want you to get several panorama shots of the Roland region. 
Everything else I'll leave up to your your aesthetic touch. Now get out there and get me some good pictures. Understood. Your your apprentice Dorothy Hyatt is ready for action. <laughs> And as for you, Mr. Archaeologist, how about heading back to town with us when we're done here? These two kids may look like a couple of rats, but they do a pretty fine job as escorts. Something about the way you said that makes me feel like it wasn't a compliment. If it's all right with you to have me along, then that's far more than I could have than I could ask for. Then I guess it's decided. So, how about we take a break until Dorothy finishes getting her shots? Sure. <laughs> oh my god, the blackness. It's, it's the nothing from Never Ending Story. No! <laughs> I just like how there's a big black spot on the left side of the screen. Wow, this view is a great... This view... Oh my god. Wow, the view is great from here. <laughs> from this height, I can see all of Rowland. With scenery this good, if someone turned this place into a tourist spot, they'd probably make a buttload of Mira. Yeah, you're probably right about that. What's wrong? You look a little pale. I can't hide anything from you, can I? After we stepped onto the roof, I just started feeling a little woozy. Are you going to be okay? Yeah, I think I'll be alright once I get a bit of fresh air. Why don't you make the best of this opportunity and have a look around yourself? But... Broadening one's knowledge during a time like this is all a part of being a bracer. If you come across anything of interest, then you can tell me about it later, alright? Sometimes you can be such a smooth talker, you know that? Alright, I'll have a look around. But if you start feeling any worse, you let me know, okay? Sure! Oh, Estelle, this place is wonderful, isn't it? I'm even starting to wonder if the number of photo courts is going to be enough. The scenery sure is great, like you say. By the way, what's a photo quartz? It's an ultra-thin crystal circuit fabricated from septium. It's set up so that you can take a photograph by burning it with light. That's just what I'd expect from a camera woman. Someone who knows the tools of the trade. Teehee. <laughs> that reminds me, what's the deal with Joshua? Well, he says he's, he's getting some fresh air. A raven-haired young man, standing silently in the flowing breeze. I think I could... I think I could take a really good picture with that, with that kind of setting. Do you think he'd let me snap a shot of him if I ask? He doesn't seem to be a fan of that kind of stuff. I think he'd probably turn you down. Oh, what a waste. He's probably just shy, right? Sure, that's it. He's just shy. Suck denial. Oh man, the taste of his cigarette is wonderful. At first, I wasn't in the mood to come do a story in a rural place like Roland, but... Sometimes these types of places aren't so bad. If you want to be rude like that, then maybe you should have come you shouldn't shouldn't have come at all. No can do. This was a direct order from the editor in chief to teach that blockheaded girl that blockhead girl a thing or two. Otherwise I'd be all over the kingdom searching for the latest scoop right now. When you say scoop, don't you just mean gossip for your next article? Now, not that I have anything against gossip, but reportage is predominantly greater. Sure. And in that sense, the place that has my interest peaked is Bose. The Bose region? Did something happen there? 
a number of large burglaries have taken place one after another. The identity of the criminals is unknown, but it seems as though the group has got a pair of wings. Wings? Oh, I see. An airship, right? What are they? Sky bandits or something? That seems to be the most logical conclusion. But there's also the possibility that that this could be an imitative deception by the Airboning Empire. What? That's impossible! We're supposed to have a peace treaty with them. Sure, but the Empire incurred some heavy losses during the ten year the war ten years ago. They can't do much now that every other nation on the continent has their eye on them, but it could be a way to get back at us. That said, nobody really knows for sure. Which is why our job as reporters is to bring these things to light. Oh, hi there, Estelle, was it? Is your partner feeling alright? Yeah, he said he just wants to get a bit of fresh air. I see. There's certainly a nice breeze up here, isn't there? I wanted to say, however, that I'm impressed that the both of you are bracers at such a young age. If I remember correctly, one must be at least 16 years of age to qualify to become a bracer, right? You sure know your stuff. And that's right, I'm exactly 16 myself. How nice it is to be young. There are limitless possibilities at, at that age. If I were about 10 years younger, I'd solve the mysteries of all these ancient ruins across the entire continent with these very hands. The entire continent, huh? That's a pretty tall order. Which means that you're not from Laboral, right? Now, I was born in the north. But just for the record, I'm not from Erebonia. Haha, <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. Although I hate war with a passion, that hatred isn't directed at the people of the Empire. You lost someone dear to you? Yeah, my mother. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring up any painful memories. It's okay, it happened more than 10 years ago. And since then, there's been a new addition to the family. Oh, so you mean that boy over there? Yeah, he's like a little brother. Although he's probably trying to act more like an older brother. <laughs> I wonder why I'm telling you all, the, all of this. Usually this isn't the kind of thing a person tells others. It's perfectly fine. Aren't good relations such a wonderful thing? Sure. Okay, so now what do we do? Talk to Joshua? Are you still feeling sick, Joshua? No, I'm much better. It should be good to head back whenever everybody's ready. I'm relieved to hear that. What brought you... What brought this all on, anyway? I doubt it was a lack of oxygen in the tower because the rest of us are alright. Maybe it was a sudden fear of heights? I, I don't think so. Estelle! Joshua! Are you finished taking pictures? You bet I am. And I got a lot of good ones, too. Then it looks like we're done here. How about we head, head back to town? All right, Greenhorns, lead the way. I'm counting on you, children. Is it going to just teleport us back? Yes. Thank you so much for escorting me back here. This is the first time I've ever been able to make it back from some ruins without being chased or bitten or I don't know how to I don't know how to begin to express my appreciation. You don't need to thank us, it's our duty as bracers. I think you'd be better off hiring some bracers to begin with next time you go off to investigate some ruins. My head says yes, but my wallet says no. I'll try and save up a bit, though. Well, well, have a wonderful day, and I hope you, we can all meet again. I 
I think it's about time we said goodbye as well. I was a bit nervous at first, but you kids did a fine job. Let me say, let me just th say thank you to, oh my god, let me just say thank you to the both of you. That's what I like to call raw skill. Now don't get all cocky on me. The bracers I know would make you two look like little fledglings not ready to leave the nest. You're going to need to work harder. I'll try to remember that. So, are the two of you headed back to the company soon? No, we're going to spend a day or so relaxing here in Roland. I need to write up a rough draft for some articles and such. I'll head over to the oval factory and get these photographs developed. Take it easy, you two. Bye! I guess this is the last of the jobs we've got from Dad. They were much tougher than I thought they'd be. I agree, I agree with you there. I feel like I have a greater awareness now about what it means to be a bracer. It's not just about fighting for justice. There you go again, saying all the right things. But yeah, I guess I get where you're coming from. It seems like we've got a long road ahead of us if we want to succeed in this profession. For the time being, why don't we report to the guild? That sounds like a good idea. Oh, but before we go, how are you doing? How are you doing? Still, still not feeling well? Thanks for asking, but I'm feeling a lot better. 